Odo and I'm uh, back in my Civilization 6 campaign with the Kree. Um, as you can hopefully remember, we started in with some nice position. And I think at this point we've discovered everything so far. So let's go down there. But there it's also over. Nothing to discover there, so probably in this direction and this direction. So in the direction of the Mapuche and the Spanish. Blah. Spanish. I really don't like the Spanish, they are religious freaks and we probably are also religious freaks now because we built Stonehenge, they won't like us. We'll destroy the barbarian camp and get plus two era score, that's nice. Although we don't need it because we will get a golden age anyway. So, <coughs> we probably should build an ancient wall first because there are always barbarians around and I fear we will get to war with the Spanish really soon or should we build nah let's let's build a Settler first. We need settlers. We also have a governor here who will be there in four turns. Really? Ugh. Kill it. Just kill it. This barbarian scum. So, and now uh, we will found the religion. Ugh, and they founded Sevilla. Well, of course, they did. We should go back with our archer to destroy the next. Ugh, there is the barbarian camp. It's really next to our city. So, let's see which kind of religion do we want. Well, we are the Kree, so we will take on the symbol of a religion that's not already taken until Zoroatrism. They are all taken, so... Um, but I really like the turtles. Or the butterflies. <laughs> Um, what do we have here? I don't do a stream. Normally, this would be some some question for the stream. So we've got truffles and stone and. And more truffles. And furs. Uh, so, what would our god look like? Are there any pigs? Pigs would be great. I would take pigs. There is a cattle. I don't know what fall means in English anyway. So I don't take it. A snake? Probably a snake. This kind of bird. Hmm. Oh nah. Let's take the butterfly. Uh let's call it Should have a nice name. 
the flattering fathers. Yeah. Clear why I call it like that. Flattering fathers. So there is already a religion because there is one uh, thing gone. This can't be. That there is already a, a, a religion, only. Interesting. So, what's there? Shrines and temples provide food equal to the intrinsic faith output. Relics have triple yield of both faith and tourism. Nah. Plus one percent production for each citizen. Shrines and temples provide culture equal to the intrinsic faith output. So, culture-wise. All world wonders provide plus four faith. That would be nice now because we already have one wonder and we would get even more faith. This is okay if we build a lot of wonders. I really don't know if we will do that. This would also be nice. Campus and theater square with faith. Housing. Humanity. And what's that? Allow spending faith to train on Ugh, No. So it's divine inspiration or choral music, I believe. These are, these are the best. Or, or the Jesuits. I really don't know if we will have a lot of um, faith. If we have a lot of faith, the Jesuits are really, really great. But we only get a lot of faith if we take this one, the Divine Inspiration. Now let's take the Divine Inspiration, why not? And let's build some Meeting house. Yeah, it must be one of these probably. Like the meeting house or the pagoda or something like this. Production is always better than food, especially with our special ability we get food via trade. So let's take the meeting house, why not? Found this religion. Yay, we founded a religion and we get another free era score. So there is no other religion than ours, this is great. This is great. Yeah. Go away, you monsters. My warriors are stronger than these. Normally I flee, but my um, let's do it like that. Try to kill us in the...
kind of dispute the actual start of the classical era, but you know it was when the Creed discovered currency. Oh, nice. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Did they destroy my roads upgraded? Gone established. Yeah. What can she do now? What's her, her abilities? She's a guild master. All builders trained in the city get plus one build charge. Okay, that's good. Plus 30% production towards city center and government plaza buildings. Yeah, that's good also, I believe. This is the reason why I took her. And they plundered one of my trade routes. Ah, oh, this is awful. This is not nice of you. This is really not nice of you. I mean, seriously. So what will we do next of the currency? Bronze working will be okay because we got the uh, Eureka for that already. Sailing as well. Uh, let's, let's do sailing. Why not? Normally I'll try to do the Eureka's if they are, they are possible. So you will go together with this settler. Mm, you're going this way. Tell me you will destroy stuff here. So let's build. Let's build the ancient wall now. Normally they should be be, be faster now because I mean, plus thirty percent towards city center and government plaza buildings and uh, city walls is a city center building, isn't it? City center, yeah. Why doesn't it show that I've got 30% by her, by Governor Liang. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, nice, go away. So where do we put the next city? There is marble, there is a river, there is Sevilla, so probably somewhere here, around here. There is also stone, stone. There is milk, which is great, and horses, probably like there. 
one, two, three, nah. Probably even nearer to the horses because there is also marble, so like here. No one will really like us if we put it there. Can we put it there? Yeah, we can put it there. That's great. We could put it there. Uh, this is a place where they have a lot of influence over our city. But we plan to be greater than them anyway, so yeah. Probably like this place. This is a good place. We can take this as well. Mm, that's nice. They fight the barbarian for me. So you settle down. You go there. You go there. Next turn. Not that life ashore is distasteful to me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, go away, stupid barbarians. Just die. Come on, move away. So we'll go there, then there, then there, and here we build the city, probably. We've got marble, milk, horses, and sheep. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Let's do cross working next. And the trading post. That's nice. So next we can build a... The time has come to choose which of our accomplishments to commemorate in our history. Really? This will inspire our people to continue to press forward towards a path of your choosing. Really? History marches forward and the world has entered a new era. We may see a golden age or a dark age in our civilization's future. Okay. Born from the actions of our recent past. The okay. opportunity has arrived for a change into yeah, the yeah, 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 politics you. is the art of the possible, the attainable, the art of the next best. Yeah. Okay. Let's take the next um, government. We want to build um, more wonders. So autocracy would be a good choice. Although they have only one civil action, two military, and I really don't like the military actions. <sighs> More great persons. Plus one to all yield for each government building and palace in a city. So this is also good for buildings, as we are more a builder and less a fighter. This is really a good choice, probably. In the experience. Nah, oligarchy is not good. So, let's, let's take the autocracy. So, we entered the classical era. And got three era score for the classical era now already so uh, let's let's put this away we got more stuff mm, this could be okay this could be okay on the start we don't build troops now so one of these three 
What do we have? Uh, something that uh, gives us a bonus on building defensive buildings. Nah. So the loyalty or the no. Let's take the double experience because we don't have that lot of conscripts yes, yet. I mean, we've got three troops now. And this we put away, and we'll take the last two gold for trade in there again. Probably we'll take this first because we will try to get now the next. The next step will be yo. What? Nah. What did I do? Ugh. What did I do? What do we want to build builders? We probably do want to build builders, especially as we've got this um, bonus from our governor. And we want to take this. Confirm policies, yeah. Oh, we probably have an envoy in both, yeah. This was a this was stupid. So Saragossa or Sevilla. Sevilla would, would make these two tiles into mine. This would be nice, but Saragossa is really good trading partner. Also, really needs to be a trading partner. So, what's this? This is new. I don't know what this does. Current age by civilization. You are in a golden age during this game era. Each of your citizens exerts 1.5 loyalty pressure in their city. This pressure also affects other cities. So wait, Philip is in a normal era and Mapuche is in a dark era. Really? Which will provide a powerful gameplay bonus during the age. There's less ten but this ten percent less effective per tile. So we will easier do this stuff. So we can we can do one of these. Can we do this only once per game or every time? Pre-inquiry, Eurekas provide an additional 10% of technology costs. Pen brush and voice. Still movement for all builders. They purchase civilian units with faith. Builders and settlers are thirty percent cheaper to purchase with faith and gold. That's nice at the start of the game, I believe. Exodus of the Evangelists. Exodus and Evangelists of the Ex uh, plus two movement for missionaries, apostles and inquisitors. Additionally, newly trained ones get plus two charges plus four great profit points per turn. That's nice. I, I believe I'll take the builders. 
Great news. Our accomplishment. What's that? Choose civic. So what do we do next? Drama and then theology. Yeah. As we are religious now, it's probably best to get into this direction as well. Ah, we need 58 points. So we we take the 44 points with us to the next era. That's nice. Is it getting harder then? Because you always have to get um, like 14 points for the Dark Ages. I really don't know how much did we need at first. Well, I think it's not too hard to get the Golden Age bonus. So, what if you go there? first and you go there ah there is a this was stupid so now it wasn't stupid it was okay I couldn't have spared my I, I thought I could get one travel day less but probably we should build the city here anyway First of all, it's uh, uh, it's more defensive terrain. New barbarian outpost. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Also interested in creating a lasting legacy, because yeah, yeah, whatever. Moo, there's a cow. Moo goes to coo. <laughs> So let's see, for the wheel we need a mine resource, build a pasture, build an iron mine. We don't have any pastures now, really. Let's do this, because I don't think that we get the Eureka for that anyway. So yeah. Now you've got the city walls as next you're doing a builder. Ah yeah, let's do a builder because in three turns we've got a new and we want the bonus for the builder. Because after we've got this we will change from Build the stuff to something else. That's not okay that it's going, going like that. Oh, come on. shoot at this guy oh. come on and die don't kill my trader Ugh. he kills my trader go away I want to build a city here So we've got this we next to a trader there. 
because we really need to trade them now. Oh, that's nice. There was someone killing them. Off. Calculate what to do next. Uh, I'll do this in the meantime. Uh, we played 30 minutes now, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Civ 6, and I hope we see each other again next time. Until then, sleep well. Bye.